God bless. Welcome back to the triage room, Jehovah Rapha, where sin is a sickness and Christ is the cure. Today, I'm going to give you a very short uh, video on a very well-known scripture, which is 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. And it basically says this, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. This scripture is a wonderful scripture for anyone with a past. And when I mean a past, I mean, if you were, let me just go to the extremes, a murderer, a thief, a robber. If you were once a prostitute, you know, a drug dealer, a pimp, you know, if you had a past that society can point at whenever they see you and say, here comes the prostitute, here comes the drug dealer, even though those things may have been in your past, your history, many, many, many years ago, you may have been uh, imprisoned and have a criminal record that will always be with you every time you go to an employer uh, and they want to dig up your history. They discover you had a criminal record and that bars you from getting that job because you were once, as I said, a criminal. You know, um, Even though you may have changed, that past is still haunting you. Christ is saying rather, you know, when you come to me, you know, if any man or woman be in Christ, you know, he's saying, behold, old, old things will become new things. I will change you. You know, you no longer be that person who once hungered after the flesh, but I'll change the inner man. Therefore, you now hunger after spiritual things. And I love that scripture because it gives people hope especially people with a past because life or society has a way of just reminding you of who you were rather than who you are now and some people have been walking in their new life for years but society tends to point the finger and it follows you around sometimes like a shadow but i thank god for second corinthians 5 verse 17 which gives the likes of me hope gives you hope also so therefore you know i like you to take this scripture and run with it also Isaiah 43 verse 25 and it says this I am he this is God speaking who blots out transgressions for my own sake and I will remember your sins no more so whenever society reminds you of your past take 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 and run with it may God bless you and keep you until next time dear viewer if you've been challenged by this message and would like to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. Come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins. In Jesus' name, Amen. Congratulations, you've been born again. My advice to you would be to find a Bible-believing fellowship to continue your walk with God. May God bless you, may God keep you. Until next time.